as pro-Trump supporters are not happy with uh, what they claim is irregularities in the ballot counting. So we have our own Fox 2 Detroit's reporter, Jessica Dupnack, uh, out there in Detroit. Uh, Jessica, what are you seeing at the moment, and is it remaining uh, peaceful? We've been out here for a few hours. The crowd behind me has thinned out a little bit. Uh, what you're looking at is a group of uh, Trump supporters, folks that uh, believe the election, specifically in Michigan, was rigged. Now, a scene setter here. We're outside of the TCF Center. It's a convention center here in town. It's where uh, 172,000 of those absentee ballots were counted on Election Day and the following day. Now, now, some of the, the GOP folks here will say that there was election fraud happening. However, you talk to our Secretary of State, Jocelyn Benson, and she said there have been zero reports of voter fraud. Now, uh, the crowd ramping up a little bit, but for the most part, it's remained peaceful. I think there was one arrest earlier, but that was for a completely separate warrant. Now, you do have some counter protesters here. They don't have quite the numbers uh, of the pro Trump folks out here, maybe a dozen or so counter protesters. Uh, uh, police are keeping them uh, maybe, you know, three or four yards apart, trying to maintain a line and maintain uh, peace out here. We, we talked to the police chief, the Detroit police chief, uh, James Craig. He said he's handling these protests as you would handle any protests. As you remember, uh, we had uh, more than 100 days of Black Lives Matter protests here in the city. They learned from those protests. They've actually set up uh, quite a perimeter around this convention center and where the protesters are just to make sure that everyone is safe, but for the most part, uh, what we've seen is some yelling back and forth, but really nothing too crazy. Now, we talked to the head of the Republican Party, Laura Cox, a little while ago. She was out here uh, supporting these protesters. She said what they're doing right now, as they believe there was some type of voter fraud, especially in the city of Detroit, they're collecting statements, affidavits from people to then uh, go after and maybe for a recount or at least for some folks to look into what happened here in Detroit. But again, we have to reiterate the Secretary of State saying there has been no instance of voter fraud. I'll send it back to you guys. And uh, Jessica, just to reiterate also, um, isn't all the counting done in the state of Michigan? Uh, have you brought that up to some of those protesters who claim, you know, possibly that uh, they may be seeking a recount? We, we saw that lawsuit yesterday also get dismissed in, in Michigan. So what do they think about that? You know, I talked to the head of the Republican Party here in Michigan, Laura Cox, as I mentioned. She said this election is not over for her. The counting may be done, but it really seems like they're going to go after uh, a legal avenue here and take that. And that's why they're gathering all of those statements. Uh, for them here in Michigan, for the GOP side, they're not going to take this lightly. The counting may be over, but they say this election, it's really not done for them. All right, Fox 2 Detroit's uh, Jessica Dupnock out there in front of the TCF Center, I believe, in downtown Detroit. Thanks for that update, Jessica. And we are following a, a lot of these protests around the country, especially there in Detroit, outside the White House, in Philadelphia.